living and working in an RV. A couple from Minnesota set out this summer to make it happen. WCCO's Liz Collin caught up with them on their latest stop up north to see what went into their decision to live life on the road. Are you ready? Huh? You ready? On a work day in July, there are much worse places to be. Not a bad view. It's Amy and Joel Leger's new front yard with their two dogs. There it is. At least for the week. We had the opportunity to go and see the country that a lot of people don't get to do and so we just decided we were going to do it. It took more than a year for the Minnesota natives to plan life on the road, sell their house in Colorado, get their girls settled in college. And then internet, internet, internet. <laughs> and make sure both of their bosses were on board. Amy's in PR management and Joel an engineer director. His technical skills securing a cell signal don't hurt. We haven't had a single issue. But 320 square feet of living space means no basement to escape to if 27 years of marriage gets rough. And you have to like the person you're living in an RV with. Yes. Turns out, yes. yeah. The Legers document their travels on SavvyFullTimers.com, taking others along for the ride with their breathtaking views via camera and drone, with stops so far along the Oregon coast, Wyoming, and California's Redwoods. We're almost into our eighth week, mm -hmm. right? It's a friend's cabin in Cushing, where they are what's known as mooch docking this week. Good girl. With a solid plan for what's ahead, at least for the next six months. We don't really know what the future holds, but we know we're enjoying doing this and we're going to keep doing it until we're not enjoying it anymore. In Cushing, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Joel and Amy basically sold everything when they downsized. A storage facility in Colorado holds their family heirlooms. And you can find a link to follow their journey on WCCO.com.